。Welcome, idol heroes. All right, enough messing around. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Void Arc strategies, the giveaway winners, some spreadsheets. Let's get into the video. What is going on YouTube? June here and I'm back again with another breakdown of the, <coughs> excuse me, the Void Arc. So we did a lot worse this season than we did last season. I have one more void enable. I have 27 void enabled heroes now, but we only placed 240 as you guys just saw. The reason is because I changed strategies. I went for a more Innova biased, Innova centric strategy where we're constantly just doing 90%. So three days in every map, resetting the map, doing another three days, resetting the map, kind of just doing that on repeat for the whole season. And that is to maximize Innova. That way I can use more of these Innova crystals in the central hall to buy out more of the stuff. I clearly spent a lot more than I usually do because I'm usually not prioritizing Innova crystals that much, but this season um, I want to try out this strategy. Again, a bunch of 90% and then somewhere in the middle you can fit in 100% if you want to. Uh, that's completely up to you, but you can do all 90s all the way and then just close it out that way. You can do a bunch of 90s and just have you, the math works out where you can have one day where you're kind of given the choice to do 100% if you want. We got 1,039,000 Innovas spent over the course of this season. We have 93,000 left over and there's only 30,000 that was actually carried from the last season. So I made 60,000 banked for just to save for the next season. So we made a decent amount of Innova. It felt really good uh, pushing vortex this season. I didn't climb the leaderboard So I wasn't getting like the dopamine kick from climbing the leaderboard constantly But what I was able to do was buy out pretty much everything in the shop and still place top 300 So there was no actual difference as far as end of the month payout goes. I was still placed top 300 I did that last season uh, last season was, was really close I think if I had maybe two more void enables at the beginning, maybe I could have pushed top 100 I still haven't gone top 100, but this strategy is not meant to do that It was an interesting experiment um, and what I'm probably going to do is run it back again for season seven so this season just started last night we do the same thing we do a bunch of 90s maybe fit in 100 there somewhere and try to get as many novas as possible uh, if i can buy out the shop every single month and just make a little bit of bank to save on the side i think that's fine i'm not too concerned about buying the eggs that much anymore i'll get them as they come i usually get a handful at the end of the season anyways from rewards so not to incentivize i'd rather get all the resources and then at any point if I have a bunch of Innovas saved up, I can always purchase a couple. I don't think you could really make enough Innova Crystals as like a light spender, medium spender to really outpace the, the eggs that are available to be purchased every month. Because I need another 300,000 to buy the three eggs that are currently available in the shop. So I'm not really sweating it. Uh, we'll take a look at the spreadsheets over the two seasons to compare. One, what, again, what, the first season, which was season five, was a push using for ranking. So leaderboard. And this season, which is season six, I use the Innova strategy. So there's going to be different Innova values and the placements will be, I think, vastly different. All right, the spreadsheet for season five versus season six. Again, in season five, we did the ranking strat where we're pretty much trying to maximize to get as high on the leaderboard as possible. And in season six, which was the season that just ended, is the Innova strat where we're not really caring about where we rank, although we sort of kind of care, but not as much. We're trying to get as many Innovas as possible. Uh, so, Things worth noting, Void Enables in Season 5 was 25 at the start of the season and midway through we went to 26 Void Enables. Season 6 was a little, much, pretty much the same, but it's 26 to 27. So both seasons we gained one Void Enable midway through the season. And if we go all the way down the bottom, Ranking Strat placed 137th. Compare that to the Innova Strat, we placed 240. So there is clearly a difference between the Ranking Strat being better than the Innova Strat as far as ranking goes kind of obvious and then the Innova strat actually ends up giving us a decent more Innova now some of that Innova is because we had one extra void enable but I think it's still safe to say that if you use the Innova strat you're gonna get more Innovas now are you gonna get a hundred thousand more I'm not so certain but you will get more so if you aren't at a threshold that you're worried about like oh I'm gonna get kicked out of top 5,000 or whatever it may be I would consider running the Innova strat just so you can get a lot of stuff out of the central hall 
Season 7, I'm most likely going to be doing the exact same strategy. Innova strat all the way, try to collect and bank as much Innovas as possible, buy out the shop for the things that I want, and hopefully don't fall out of top 300. If I ever do get pushed out of top 300, I'll reconsider, try to move some void enables around maybe, and try to still rank top 300, or have to rely on the ranking strat. We'll see what happens at the end of the season. Thanks for checking out the video. The giveaways are next, so if you did join the giveaway, stick around for that. Hello, welcome to the giveaway. <laughs> All right, let's do the giveaway here. Uh, filter duplicate users, get them comments. Good luck to all the contestants. All right, 314, 314, some pie action. All right, first giveaway is going to be for iOS 2R3 2020 Fong Jing Wine. Thank you so much for entering. Hit me up on Discord, DM me. We'll get you all the details, get you set up. Congratulations, you have won the iOS account. I think that one was pretty stacked. It had uh, stuff for Della Cheese, I think, for the Defire push. That's probably changed ever since the nerf, but account is good nonetheless. So congratulations to Mr. Fong. Let's get another winner. Number two, this will be for the Android account. Let's just hope the comment is for Android. Android, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Viso. Uh, yeah, dude. That's that's you, man. That's 100% uh, you. We just did your actually your Defire push. Not your Defire push. Yeah, we just got you to Valiant on uh, the stream. Okay, good stuff, man. Uh, it's glad to see a viewer who's checking out my streams actually spiked the dub. So you get the Android account. Perfect. Thank you so much for the support, folks. Congratulations to the winners. Hit me up on Discord. I'll get you those details. Thank you so much.